Its mission today is to fight climate change, but this wind farm in Yorkshire was once at the forefront in the fight against fascism. RAF Lissett was built during World War II and was home to 158 Squadron, Bomber Command. 851 lost their lives. Today, their names are etched on this memorial overlooking the turbines. Jill's father served there and survived. Well, the structure of this memorial is very significant in the... Viewed from one side, the crew is walking away mm -hmm. as if boarding their aircraft for a mission. Viewed from the other side, they're returning home. Her father flew 33 missions and was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross. I have brought his citation here, oh, which tells us a little bit about it. Fantastic. I can share this with you if you wish. Yes. Flight Lieutenant Strange has been four times to Berlin, once to Leipzig and twice to Dusseldorf and to many of the Ruhr areas. Latterly, he has further assisted the work of the squadron in the capacity of an assistant flight commander and has given generously of his time and knowledge in the training of crews new to operations. What an incredible man. It's wonderful, isn't it? You must be so proud. I am, yes, yeah. So I have brought along um, just one thing from the plane that my father used to look through, and this is a piece of perspex from what I would call the windscreen area of a Halifax uh, that crashed in a little village outside Paris called Imonce uh, with the loss of all but one lives. And many years later, my father and his navigator were invited to go to a ceremony to mark this. And uh, he was invited to choose a piece of wreckage. And he chose this, which looks like nothing at all, but it's what he used to look through. And why did he pick this particular piece? He chose that piece out of the wreckage to bring home with him because he said that that represented the many hours he spent looking through it. Where did he keep it? Did he put it on display? Oh, or no, it wasn't just... on display. I think it was just in a drawer. And... Um, Similarly with, with his medals, because he, had a, he was awarded a DFC at the end of his tour and uh, his medals were kept at the bottom of his sock drawer and, you know, they came out once a year for the reunion, kept in his pocket until he had to put them on and then put back in his pocket. The seven men in the memorial represent a Bomber Command crew. Next to it, their badge, which has seven links, reinforcing their motto, Strength in Unity every person in a crew representing a link being just as important as the other. They also symbolise the unity of the nation at a really tough time when everybody had to stand close together. They were only together for 10 months, but gosh, the bonds they made between them were incredible. You can't tell from a distance, but when you look up close, the turbines each have something unique. They all contain individual tributes to Lissett's past. Eleven of the 12 turbines have the names of World War II planes that flew from there. Russell Hill from Ventient Energy, who run the wind farm, is taking me on a tour. I want to learn more about their individual stories, and one in particular has caught my eye. So if you have a look around the side here, you'll see that this is where the name Friday the 13th appears. It's the same on all of the turbines throughout the wind farm, yeah. um, named after each of the bombers, as I say, uh, with the exception of one of the turbines. And this was the original aircraft, which completed 128 operations with 158 Squadron. It defied the odds and survived the war, and this replica is now on display at the Yorkshire Air Museum. For Russell, he has his own connection to this place. Uh, personally, myself, you know, I'm ex-forces. I was in the Navy, my father was in the RAF. Uh, he served in Aden. It's a very fitting memorial. We're quite close to an operational air base. Um, a couple of times a day, uh, you'll get a couple of fighter jets up here flying around the wind farm, uh, generally chasing each other, having a bit of fern burning off fuel, maybe returning from an operation. Uh, occasionally, they've dipped their wings. I've noticed them do that, and it's almost insignificant to what's happened here in the past. Perhaps they're paying tribute. This turbine is very different to all of the others. That's because instead of the name of an aircraft on it, it has the names of six ground crew that were tragically killed back in 1943. That's because this used to be a bomb dump 
seven people were working here and all of a sudden a thousand pound bomb went off and it tells us here that remarkably one man survived. Aircraftman one Daniel Owen, he was an armament assistant. Uh, it says his clothes were blown from his body but he walked away without any injuries. There are 12 turbines on the wind farm and they produce enough energy to power around 18,000 homes. But this site has another use as well. The former base isn't just a wind farm in 2018. It's also part of a working farm and the old runway is used to store equipment and materials. That beyond there is where the turbines are and you can just see them on a clear day, just going around the tips. A few minutes up the road, and I'm meeting the farmer who owns the whole site. It's been in Jim's family for generations. They had to hand part of it over during the war in 1943, so it could become RAF Lissit. Now it's back in their hands. They are proud of what happened here. We're the caretakers of something until the next generation. So we, we try to instill upon our family what, you know, what happened or whatever. So um, I think it's just there as, a, as memories, isn't it? Without them, we wouldn't be here, I don't think. As the sun sets on Lisset each night, there is something really special about the way it highlights the memorial to 158 Squadron. That painful chapter is now over, but the memory of those who served here will live on.